All right, you guys, it is time for a discussion piece. So let's get into it, y'all. What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scattered by Nature TV, and we are here for another discussion piece. We're going to be doing a lot of these type of videos going forward. Um, I think that it's, it's no, you know, it's needed for us to talk about these things, you know, whether it's past beefs or present feuds or whatever, we're going to do that. All right. Now, before we get into today's um, discussion piece, let's talk about what we got coming up. Now, tonight is the Whether You Like It or Not panel, which is every single Monday, and it will be on Really Be TV's platform tonight at 9, 15 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you guys tune in. The link should already be available in the playlist for the Whether You Like It or Not panel. So if you do not have the link, go to the playlist right now and get that link and make sure you guys... Um, <clears throat> Make sure you guys um click on that notification bell so you can be notified. It's tonight at 9 15 p.m. Eastern time. And not only that, make sure you guys are voting, 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 voting. Okay. Your boy is nominated for two Boss Babe Awards, Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year, and Boss Babe Podcast of the Year. So make sure you guys are voting for me. Okay. Make sure you guys are voting, honey. All right. Um, the link will be available down in the description box right underneath my social media handles. So make sure you guys are ready, present, and available because your boy is trying to win honey he is trying to win he is trying to get both of these awards and that's just that i'm just grateful to be nominated all together and being recognized but i do want to win so make sure you guys are voting for your boy all together all right so with that being said that is all so let's get into what we're here to talk about in today's discussion piece is all about double standards as you guys already know um uh, last night was the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion, and Candace Dillard had a couple of things to say about Giselle Bryant. And it has caused a lot of conversation on social media, mainly um, the Twitterverse, okay, the Housewives Twitter, that is. Um, they have been talking a lot about this read, and a lot of people do not like what she said. But another thing that has been um, being said and being put into the atmosphere is... It's been comparable to a lot of the reads that Phaedra Parks has given other people and people, you know, went up for it. But, you know, Candace go just as low and people are looking down upon what she said. Now, this is the thing that Candace has said. As you guys already know, if you've been watching the show, you do know that Candace Dillard and um, Giselle Bryan have this feud going on due to the fact that um, Giselle made up a narrative about Candace Dillard's husband, right? Which is Chris Bassett. Um, that has been the talk, topic of discussion the entire season. So one of the things that everybody been talking about was the fact that um, Candace said that Giselle had a dwindling uterus. And a lot of people felt some type of way about her saying that due to the fact that she did have fibroids and she recently had a hysterectomy and everybody felt as though that was the lowest thing that Candace could have ever said about Giselle. Um, there are some people that, you know, really don't give a damn about Candace saying that to Giselle, being that Giselle has made up a lot of SA accusations in regards to Candace's husband. And that brings in the conversation about Phaedra and Kenya and even Phaedra and Cynthia. I know Cynthia is not even in this in the, in this photo, but the um, but it came about when I was talking about doing this video. Right. So. People are mad about Candace saying something about a dwindling uterus. But yet, nobody had anything to say about Phaedra in this so-called rehearsed read that she gave Kenya during season six. Um, you know, mocking her for not being able to have kids. Or when she was talking about Cynthia's fibroids and saying that Cynthia was worried about her Aquafina, but she's sitting on Captain Crunch. That was also disgusting. And not only that, she talked about Kenya's skin and called her oatmeal pie face. And that also wasn't cool either. So it goes back to it's okay for one person to do it, but it's not okay for the next. Now, I would be the first to say that normally I would have been upset about what you know, Candace had to say, because I feel, you know, in so many words, it can be offensive to women who are having fibroid issues, who are having, you know, um, hysterectomies and stuff like that. They could be a, a issue, you know, they could be a problem. But being that um, Giselle has been targeting her husband all season, 
um, using the Me Too movement as a storyline and all of this other stuff, you know, it's it's crazy for anybody to really believe that Candace got to be up on the straight and narrow with Giselle. Like I said, any other time, if Candace would have said that, I probably would have been upset. But if Giselle wasn't out here making up lies on her husband and trying to, you know, domesticate his whole character and how people look at him, then, you know, I would have been like, Candace, you wrong as fuck. But Giselle was wrong when she made up all those lies about Chris. And at this point, they're in war. So it really don't matter what they say. I personally probably wouldn't have said it. But Candace is at the point to where she don't give a F at this point. She don't care. So it's like, you're going to talk about my husband. You're going to make a mockery out of my marriage. You're going to do all of this stuff. You're going to say all this crazy stuff about me and my husband. And you're going to, you know, uh, target my family this time around. So I'm going to target your uterus. That's something that you're actually dealing with. And... I just I just find it crazy that a lot of the same people that are uh, demonizing Candace for saying what she said to Giselle are the same people that goes up for these low bottom of the barrel reads that Phaedra give. And they're now held as iconic. There was a tweet that fellow um, YouTuber um, Rodney the Voice had posted and I definitely want to put that tweet up here and I know he would not mind if I did that because you know we you know we fuck with each other so I don't think he would mind but it's a tweet that Rodney um, posted on Twitter which I retweeted and I had to because it needed to be said you know um, I'm one person that's all about accountability and holding people accountable and not necessarily, you know, and not sitting here trying to pretend like we don't see what's going on because we see exactly what's going on right about now. Uh, we better go ahead and get into it. So let me get this tweet up real quick. Let's get this tweet. Out. There we go. OK, I found a tweet. So let me share the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Once I share the screen, I can remove this overlay so y'all can see it. Okay, so where we at with it? Okay, so the tweet says, okay, this is what the tweet says. Y'all still go up for Phaedra and that read towards Kenya about her frater fertility, I'm sorry, fertility journey. But Candace is doing too much talking about Jizzy's dwindling uterus. Make up your mind is giving flip-flop, okay? And I'm tired of trying to keep up. Hashtag RHOP. Um... Somebody said, so let's look at the comments. Someone said, uh, Phaedra had a full rehearsed seven minute monologue about Kenya's infertility, but they draw the line at a three second quip about a uterus. That read was nasty and made my entire day. Someone said, You are so right. Thank you, cousin. Speak on it. Absolutely, it is. Well, Giselle lied on her husband at this point, so it's war. Nothing's off limits. Someone said, Y'all are not wrong. Personally, I can't stay in Phaedra for a lot of things, but her reunion read on Kenya was iconic. Candace uh, reading Giselle is well deserved after she came for her marriage. Since Giselle doesn't have one, she has to hear the way it hurts. Someone said you pull a hamstring for the Twitter. See, oh, that's somebody who uh, probably don't you know agree with what he said. But I definitely agree with what um, Ronnie is saying. I definitely do. Um, I think that this is one of those things where it's all about who you like and not about what's right and what's wrong. Okay, and I just feel like. That's what this is. I think that uh, because a lot of folks don't like Candace, um, they're sitting up here um, trying to, you know, drag her for saying what she said. And I just feel like they've been waiting for, you know, people look for a reason to drag Candace. And listen, I got my things with Candace, too. I don't always really like Candace in her mouth. I think sometimes she used her mouth as a form of a weapon a bit too much Some of, sometimes. But I just think that. Uh, in this particular moment, Giselle got what she deserved. I mean, you can't be talking about nobody's, you know, husband and think that, you know what I'm saying, you are supposed to get away with that. You're not going to get away with talking about people's husbands and think somebody's supposed to have grace on you and what you got going on. It's one of those things that you had going on that you tried to keep from the public in the first place. And I just think that the um, outrage over Candace, um, mentioning Giselle's uterus is actually laughable um, because like like we just said already and like some of the tweets said, y'all were the same ones that loved it when Phaedra made fun of Kenya's situation at the season six reunion. So, I mean, a lot of people seem to project a lot of things and they don't, you know, hold up the end of the bargain and they don't um, hold up for what they say. They change their opinions every change they get. 
And like, I'm not a fan of low blows either, but in that particular moment, I just felt like this. You talked about that woman's husband. You tried to make it seem like, you know, he was trying to hit on you or do something inappropriate. So she just gave you what she was looking for. And, you know, it may be wrong. It may be in poor taste. But this is one of those moments where I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't care. I don't care what she says to Giselle. Giselle didn't care about how Candace would feel about her, you know, talking about her husband on national TV and making up those things that she made up. So why should Candace give a damn about what she got going on with her uterus? That may be a little bit harsh to say, but at the same point in time, it's like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. Because Candace talking about her uterus is just as harsh as Giselle lying on her husband and making this a Me Too movement issue. So that's all I got to say. Um, if y'all going to sit up here, if y'all going to sit up here and go up for Phaedra talking about people's fertility issues, if y'all going to sit up here and go up for uh, Phaedra talking about people being oatmeal pie face, if y'all going to go up for Phaedra, because Phaedra's reads, lack thereof, are all dark ass reads. They are. And people go up for everything that she says, like she's some reading queen. So. If y'all gonna go off of Phaedra and her BS, y'all could be quiet about Candace. And this is coming from a person that's no one's Candace to stand. I, 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 I don't really stand for nobody on this show, honestly. I just like Karen the most and Wendy, but I don't stand for anybody. It's just about the truth. If y'all gonna go off of one, then shut the hell up about the other one. Or better yet, keep that same energy. That's just what I think about the situation. But I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. Like, do y'all got do you guys think that there's a double standard when it comes down to Candace and what she says? Um, do you think that um the read that Kenya that Phaedra gave Kenya is comparable to the one that Candace just gave Giselle? What do you guys think about that? Leave it down below. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also uh click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. And also down below up under my social media handles will be the link for the Boss Babe Awards poll. As you guys already know, nominated for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year and Boss Babe Podcast of the Year. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Rest in peace, Danita. I'll holla at y'all. What's up, guys? It's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B. It's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you